My name is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm a registered immigration consultant and I specialize in marriage cases, marriage spouse visa interviews and marriage case appeal. I'm going to tell you about a case that you are looking on the screen. You can do a Google search and then go and read the whole case on your own. This is a fairly old case, has been uh, eight months. Uh, what I am about to show you is uh, a indication of what is being asked in the spouse interview. If you are called, if you are getting called for an interview for a visa officer about your spouse case, and uh, you need to know before you go there to understand what is likely to be asked. So this is a case about a spouse visa where the wife is in Canada and the husband is in India and the uh, husband applies for a spouse open work permit and the visa officer calls him to find out uh, about the genuineness of marriage. And there are many questions asked, but I will tell you about certain questions. On the basis of those questions, the case was refused. Of course, this case is about uh, challenging to that uh, you know, refusal, but let me show you what questions were asked. So just in case if you don't know, and now you will know. Uh, all right, so here it is. Uh, let's see, just a minute, let me just bring this focus on the screen. Here, so see uh, number nine, the paragraph number nine, the GCMS notes indicate the officer's reason uh, for refusing Mr. Singh's application. And uh, there, are, there are four or five reasons that they are mentioned. Number one is, uh, Mr. Singh was unable, according to visa officer, he was unable to answer these questions. But look at the questions. Please talk about your spouse life in Canada. Oh, sorry, in India. Sorry, other way around. Uh, prior to moving to Canada. So what does your wife do? Uh, you know, was she studying? Was she working? Where was she living? What was the routine in India? What? Uh, how was her life? Just to be familiar with uh, with. Uh, you know, the relationship prior to going to uh, Canada. So uh, how much knowledge did the husband have about the wife? Second question, talk about the spouse studies in Canada. What is she studying? Uh, what subject is she enrolled into? What subject does she like? Can you tell me something about this subject? Can you tell me something about the subject which she does not like? How much grades did she get? What does she like in this subject? Did she have a homework lately? Did she discuss any homework with you? And those kind of questions. Number three, discuss the wife's daily routine in Canada. What does she do every day? What time does she get up in the morning? Does she take a bus? Does she drive a car? How far does she have to commute? Uh, what time she takes off from, uh, from the part-time job does she have? You know, how much does she earn? What does she like to eat? Where does she like to shop on grocery? Uh, who's your best friend? Those kind of questions. Just a general routine question. Because many a times the husband will say, oh, I'm talking to my wife every day. And the visa officer is wondering, what do you know about the wife? If you're talking every day, tell me something that you know about the daily routine. All right. Discuss her finances, although he provided with approximately $22,000. Um, tell me about her finances. How much money does she make? How much money does she have? Where does she spend most of her money on? Uh, what kind of credit card, what kind of uh, debit card, what kind of insurance policy does he have? Anything to do with finances in Canada. So do you know anything about her? What do you know about her? Tell me about how she's managing her money. Uh, one of the funny things is that uh, the visa officer said in this case is, in addition, the husband did not know the name of the spouse roommate. So very likely, if the wife is staying with other roommates, uh, they will likely ask, ask you, hey, how many people are living there in that basement? Can you tell me who these are? How are they connected? How much rent they are paying? How are they sharing the household chores? Those kind of things. So this is just an idea uh, to get to know what questions are being asked and so that you can prepare also. You get a little hint. Uh, thank you very much. I mean, there's a lot in the case. Uh, this is not the time I will not discuss the whole case, uh, but I just wanted to show you what were being asked. But in this case, uh, let's say I think uh, the the judicial review was dismissed, so he was not successful. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what questions were being asked. And if you are interested more, uh, you can go and uh, type this information on Google 
and uh, pretty much search this uh, uh, thing on your own on the Federal Court website, all right? Thank you. Have a good day. And if you have any interview uh, coming up with the High Commission uh, or any kind of marriage spouse visa interview, I can tell you that uh, you need preparations. Without preparations, without understanding what is likely to be asked, you will, uh, uh, you know, you you will you will most likely not not do your the best. Uh, so you need practice and coaching, and and you know that's how we can we can improve the the results. All right. So if you have one, you can always uh, contact me, and then I can take a look. Goodbye.